I can't even remember. How long it's been since I heard his name. Horse Bellabog. Bellabog Industries, previous president, and my father. Kaleda, look! This is what Daddy told you about. Bellabog's first independently developed smart construction machine. This is the prototype you were talking about? When will you finish building it? Well, that'll take a whole lot of money. Money Daddy's company just doesn't have right now. Plus, we lack the production to build such powerful machinery. But don't worry. One day, my little girl will be riding in the machine her old man built. You know, it's not just any machine. It's got a heart your dad made in it. It'll be able to understand your commands and endure all the hollow's dangers. <sighs> wow. Here, Kaleda, give it a name. When you call out that name, it'll accomplish what Ever you need it to. Dad? Dad! You promised to play with me today! Kaleda, Daddy's busy right now. Bidding on the new project, the prototype's manufacturing fee. Then there's the final review at Pioneer's Memorial Plaza. One minute. I'll be done soon. Daddy promises. Mm. <laughs> Liar. What? Mr. Bellabog, I'm sure you understand this will be better for all of us. Daddy. You want me to pretend like nothing happened? Are you kidding me? Just come out with it. What exactly is in there? Hello? Hello? Say something! Dad? It's so late! Where are you going? I don't want to be home alone! I want to go with you! <sighs> Come on, Kalita, stop it! There's an emergency. I have to go now. Just stay at home and be good. Daddy will be back in no time. I promise. Just like that. He vanished. That liar. President? President? Uh, Ben? You were saying something? Yes. The commission is completed. Mr. Proxy came to collect their bamboo. We might have had some trouble along the way, but we've recovered all three machines. That means you completed the commission from Bellabog Heavy Industries. Ben will settle the commission fee through the proxy network tomorrow. Thanks again for your help, Faithin. Grace is analyzing the machines right now. With her skills, she should be able to find the reason that... Uh... What? You got something to say? There's something on my mind. When the pile driver mentioned the name Horse, he made an odd face. Uh, oh, uh, would you look at the time? Uh, <clears throat> President, if we don't go deal with that commission fee for Mr. Proxy now, we won't be able to transfer the money tomorrow. Ben, don't worry. It's okay. If we don't tell them, the proxy could just look it up online. They might as well hear it from us so they don't think we're hiding something. Proxy. You saw Anton on that show before, right? Did the host mention years ago there was a scandal involving Bellabog's president who disappeared with a bunch of money? Well, that president of Bellabog was Horse. Horse Bellabog. So, yes, he was my father. The night before the old capital fell, a large sum of money suddenly disappeared from Bellabog's accounts and the old man went missing. Popsec investigated and said the financial burden of Bellabog, coupled with the possibility the Memorial Square we were building at the time might not be completed on schedule, 
cost horse to embezzle the public funds, and run. Bellabog Industries had an extremely hard time because of one old man's irresponsible behavior. But we're back on our feet now. You've really been through a lot. I'm glad that you've turned the corner. Thank you. At any rate, I stopped thinking of Horse Bellabog as my father a long time ago. The Bellabog of today has nothing to do with that selfish piece of trash. Koleda, how could you talk about your own father like that? It's true a large sum of money was missing from the company's books, but no one can prove it was Uncle Horse who took it. The investigation result and the claims he absconded with the money were all just pub sex speculation. I know all the bad press brought about by public security and losing your father hurt you, but you shouldn't resent your own father like that. You were too young to spend much time with him before he went missing to us. You don't know how wonderful you're the one who doesn't know anything. <gasps> <sighs> I think we're getting further away from just explaining to Mr. Proxy who Horse was. And Grace, weren't you working on those three machines? What are you doing here? I came over to tell you I found a clue as to why they ran off. Oh, really? Great! Mm. After examining their logic cores, I found they'd all picked up the same signal from deep within a hollow before wandering off. The signal's identification code format is the same we use in the company. When decoded, the text reads, BLG prototype. That's right, Kaleida. Unbelievable as it sounds, the signal seems to be coming from the original prototype. The prototype. Does it also belong to Bellabog Industries? It was the first smart machinery made before the former president went missing. Our production line was somewhat outdated at the time, so we couldn't complete manufacturing independently. Apart from the core parts, everything else was outsourced to another manufacturer and produced according to our blueprint. Unfortunately, the old capital fell before the final delivery payment was made, even though the machine was completed. <sighs> the manufacturer was swallowed by the hollow and lost forever, along with the prototype. But it looks like the prototype is out there somewhere, and maintains some level of functionality. You may not like what I'm about to say, Sweet Pea. I know you don't want to drag up the past, but that prototype is still company property. That prototype logic core has a lot of value. So what are you gonna do? Go get it back, or pretend it doesn't exist? Mr. Proxy, I doubt our president will be making a decision today. You should head back for now. If we decide to head into the hollow to look for the prototype, we'll be sure to contact you for assistance. Oh, 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 oh,